A lot of people sometimes think London's a gray and rainy, foggy city, but it's not. It's a city that's vibrant, it's full of color and culture and life and excitement. I think the challenge for us was really having a faithful representation of London. It is a very intimidating city. It has practically every form of architecture from history, many, many layers of culture. London is amazing. I'd, I'd only been there uh, once when I was quite a bit younger, but for the game, we did a, a research trip there for a couple of weeks, a huge team of us on the ground, you know, photographing interviews, like behind closed doors access, all kinds of stuff. We got to see so much amazing stuff. So we start from the foundation of London, London's heritage, London's prestige, the specific areas and their diversity. And then we look at current events and the impact of technology on society. We think about this time of deep division that we are experiencing as a culture, and we project from there. It's not artistically interesting for us to, uh, to make a Google Maps version of London where everything is replicated one-to-one. -one. We want to take out the less interesting bits and compress things down and make sure we're including all the, uh, the most awesome things, the things we like, and also leaving some room for us to inject new stuff into that world as well. So we have hundreds of existing landmarks that we've uh, reproduced with some of our own flair and spin on them, but we've also injected hundreds of new things into that world as well, things that people have never seen before that I think they'll be really exciting to explore and discover. Every single location that we've put on as a proper like named location, we think about how do we take one of our core themes and ground it in the fiction. So if we have something like the Imperial War Museum, we don't just replicate that space, we think what kind of exhibit would they be running in this world? And then we actually put some environmental storytelling around that location so it feels not just like a recreation of reality, but it's a comment on the fiction that we've created around that reality. It's really about understanding the echo chamber that London really is. And we really started to see uh, that London was an amazing quilt of cultures and, uh, and different hubs of people. Trying to get the different uh, feel with all the boroughs in London was a, was a great challenge for us. We have actually eight distinct boroughs within our world, and it's really important that we try to give each one a unique sense of personality and, and flavor and visual identity. That was the thing that was very striking for us was, you know, being in the city of London, you know, uh, walking through, you know, where the, where the gherkin is and these huge, beautiful, you know, architectural works, skyscrapers and all of the money and affluence and seeing the, you know, the dragons on the, on the posts with the red and gold paint on them and like, wow, it's so beautiful. And literally you take three steps and you're in Shoreditch and there's, you know, street art on the wall, uh, East Snowden, and there's like, you know, you, and it was almost like you could see the march of the city of London, like reclaiming pieces of Shoreditch as it sort of grows, grows uh, eastward. And it was, uh, it was very striking. We spent a bunch of time in, in Brixton and Lambeth and, and uh, in Westminster and, and Chelsea. So absolutely seeing all of these different neighborhoods and cultures, uh, it, massively informed not just the the art of the city but also the people in the population of the city which is really like our core our core theme it was really important for us to have a diverse cultural representation of london so we couldn't simply focus on say westminster and ignore places like brixton or brick lane that bring this important contrast. It is a melting pot of many international cultures. I think the reality of what that city represents in terms of being you know, the, the most Western part of Europe forced us as a development team to really be keen with our research and take the time to really understand what boroughs and districts meant. The one that probably personally excites me the most would be Camden. It has a, it has a really gritty uh, vibe to it. We've you know, pushed a lot away from maybe how it is today in the real world, where it's a little bit more commercialized and touristy and pushed it into a, a new kind of flavor of maybe something more like what it once was, where it felt a little more like a, a ground up uh, movement there. You see it in the streets, you see it in the people. So every location in the world has to be grounded in our fiction. And some of that fiction is quite grim. So when you look at a place like, say, the stables at Camden Market, this is an area where we see a uh, cutting edge crime family 
using the stables as part of their black market, where they're moving goods and sometimes people illicitly through the city. We see iconic landmarks like the Tower of London, Tower Bridge itself, the Houses of Parliament, being much more heavily controlled by a privatized policing force rather than the classic police forces that we tend to see today. So everything has a bit of an edge on it that makes it not just London, but specifically the London of Watchdogs Legion.